Oh, beautiful. What's going on, everybody? No, there's been much video. It's not a whole lot of stuff um, going on, really. But I did get a PSA order back. You can see. Uh-oh, something came back bad. But we're going to go over uh, my economy order. It basically was the December Christmas special. They got December 31st. I just got in the mail today. Funny part is, this thing here, if you have economy, and you pay once you pay in uh, shipping, or QA2, and it goes to shipping, the cards after you pay for it got to be scanned in. Five days to be scanned in. They shipped out that evening, or after five days the evening uh, of the ship date. But the morning of, my modern order shipped. Which is really weird because like modern was moving at like 11 a.m. And then this was like 6, 7 o'clock at night. Modern doesn't show up till Monday. I, I can't figure it out. Craziness. Sorry, right, I'm going to hit one little piece of a mail day here. I was in an immaculate break and had Spain. I hit it as a Raz filler, whatever you want to call it. It's a nameplate. Pretty cool. Um, I just happened to look at what this guy's stuff does. There's no nameplates out there of him. At least there wasn't a few days ago. And his, you know, stuff out of 99 out of 50, you know, selling decent. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe we send her off to PSA land and get her eight or not. Well, I don't know. I could just now look at the corners on this. This thing might have to go more somewhere else. Man, Macula is just so hard to grade. I'm just looking at it through the case. I don't even know. I might get an 8 on to it or a 7. Maybe I'll just keep it raw. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's going to be hard to see. Right there. You kind of see a little uh, like light blemish down there in the lower left. Yeah, but still pretty cool card. Pretty cool card. All right. PSA order. Let's talk about this. Jude Bellingham. Rookie. I've taken this out. I just stuck it back in, actually. That's why it's not in the whole way. I've opened up about eight boxes of this stuff from multiple cases. And I put it back up against every one of the cards. And it's not bigger and it's not smaller than any other card. So why it says minimum size requirement, I have no idea. Now, since they're using Genement, I don't know if it'll even flow through because it's a serial number card. So I think I'm going to send it off to SGC or something else. I'm not too sure. But it kind of really made me upset because it said minimum size required. I pulled this card out of a hobby box. And yet it got this. And I'm like, well, let me dig through. And I, when I uh, open my boxes, I throw them in these 5,000 count things and stuff. And I started pulling some out. Stacks. I put it in the middle. It's the same size. So I'm like, well, maybe that was a bad box, bad case. And I went through, like I said, I opened up eight different boxes throughout the year. And there's nothing to it. So I can't figure it out. Not at all. But like I said, them using Gentleman, I don't know if it's already in the system. As soon as it comes back in, it's going to flag it again. Or if I can actually get a second look or not. But they didn't charge me on it. So that's a good thing. But I lost a card off allocation because of it. All right, let's go to what we got here. We pulled this. This works. Topps Chrome, Bundesliga, Sapphire Edition at 9. I was really banking on this being a 10. Um, not too sure, not too sure. But a 9 this is still over, a little over 100 bucks. Um, 50 to grade it. I was in the card for nothing because I pulled something else in the box that I sold for, I forget what it was, like six, 700. So this... Whatever I make off, it's just free. I think they're going for like $100, 110 bucks, something like that. Pulled this. I won a couple boxes of um, this, oh, Shining Fates. And I was opening them up here. I never opened it up on camera. But you guys can see XSplit's still there. They're looking at my account. They said it might take a few days. Something's up with it. But um, Nine. Never did Pokemon before. Um, Charles told me to get a black light for the back. It'll help out. But, like, I'll show you guys. I don't know. Maybe, maybe up in the camera I'll see it. But it looked pretty good. 
I mean, probably centering on the back, maybe? Is that what got it? I don't know. Guessing centering on the back. I guess they're more particular on back centering versus front centering. Oh, you know, I just happen to notice this. No. There is an outline on this. I just happen to see it here to here to here to here. Huh. I guess if I'd have held it at this angle here, I'd have noticed why it would have been a nine. But still going for over $200. Um, I think I won like three boxes at like for 24 bucks. So I hit this, 50 bucks to grade. It's still a little bit of profit. And I'm going to talk about uh, profits too in a video. I'm going to start the old, uh, I don't know, extreme drive. I don't know, something we'll call it cool. Because as I'm making these long drives and stuff, I just need to make use of my time. So you guys will probably start seeing 10, 15 minute clips of me driving and just talking crazy stuff. All right. This here I had as a nine. It came back a 10. Bowman Chrome, Eduardo Garcia, Gold Shimmer. Amazingly, I had one as a nine. It came back a 10. <laughs> Don't know how good he is. I think a raw sold to this at like 150. So... Again, straight profit off of this. Uh, well, not all straight. I want to say I'm probably in for like 80 bucks plus 50 grade, 130. So it's not bad. I'll make a little bit on it. Don't know how good this dude is. It's a shimmer. A lot of people don't like shimmers too. Finally, the one that pretty much paid for the whole order plus some. This card here I won off of somebody I knew in a Raz a while back. And he doesn't really grade much. And he's like, anymore, I should say. He's like, dude, it'll 10. I'm telling you it's going to 10. It 10. 2018. Optic Drew Brees downtown. They're selling for four and a quarter. Really happy with that. Overall, I mean, with the Bellingham, eh, it is what it is. But when I saw this 10, after I just knew that, like, basically... This here would pay for my grading and what I had invested into these cards and still left me a little bit of wiggle room. So whatever I sold the other four for would be totally profit. And this is how I usually do my orders so I don't bum myself. If I happen to find cards that I acquire through Facebook on Razzing occasionally, I don't really do it much anymore. But if I could win it for a 10 uh, to you know, thirty percent of the actual blue a value of it, and I could ten it. I could take risk on other cards, and if they only nine, and I make that minimal profit onto it, still some profit, but I still hit the big one with the ten on it. Probably batting around 85 90 percent doing that. So usually, this was the only one really into it. Um, besides the Charizard that I won on to it, uh, I said I'm both in, knowing that. Regardless of the outcome, if one of them tend, I was good. And thankfully, Drew did it. All right, guys, that's pretty much it. I'll have a modern order in here Monday. Um, I think I only got like five or six cards in it, but I'll show it as well. I just added to it to make the minimum order requirements for a couple people that were in an order. But it, it actually turned out pretty well. I think the lowest grade I got was a nine. And that's all 80s and 90s stuff, so pretty good stuff. All right, guys, you have a good weekend out there. And I will catch you guys with some videos starting out probably Sunday afternoon. I'll come live. I got to look over some cards for Joey. I think that's the only person I got stuff in for. Um, so I'll probably be live somewhere in the afternoon, evening time frame with that. And then uh, I got some videos that will be coming out, too, uh, throughout the week. Card show in Frankfurt next Saturday. I'll probably pop into it. I will not be set up. The following weekend, I'm set up in Louisville in case anyone wants to come by. But I think I'm only going to do one display case on that one and bring up the microscope to it um, to show people how it really can help you out a lot, you know, eliminating a lot of dud cards and you know issues on the cards and who knows maybe i just you know open up half the table and charge people look at their cards not too sure yet we'll see how it works but all right guys have a good weekend catch you guys live on sunday